Now then everybody, in this week's video I'm going to be working just to the right of the frame on the computer so it might be slightly different to my normal videos but bear with me because I'm ultimately going to be showing you how I work with vlog footage from the Panasonic S1. So you're probably joining me in today's video because you either own an S1 or you have a camera, a Panasonic camera with vlog footage uh, or the vlog profile. But a lot of the stuff I'm going to talk to you about today can also be kind of transferred over to any log profile and working with log footage in general. So I am going to assume that you've got some knowledge of DaVinci Resolve, which is the program I'm going to be using today. Uh, and I'm using DaVinci Resolve 16, the free version. And before we go any further, I've got to also mention that in order to use 10-bit footage, vlog footage in DaVinci Resolve, the free version, uh, I had to transcode the footage from the Panasonic codec to Pro res 422 10 bits so you might be wondering why i didn't just use premiere pro which is my normal typical editor and ultimately it's personal preference i absolutely love color grading in davinci resolve i've been doing it now for a few years throughout there i think the the earliest version of resolve i used was resolve 12 back when i had my own little pocket black magic cinema camera and uh, i've all I've sort of taken to it ever since then so i do use both programs but i'm going to be mainly using Resolve 16. So without further ado, I'm going to turn face this way and You're going to join me now at the computer screen. So straight off the bat. This is The vlog footage straight from camera and I should also note I tried to Expose for the highlights So this should be a fairly decently exposed shot To work with which always helps so just to sort of quickly highlight the areas we're going to be looking at, we're going to be primarily using the color wheels for the color correction. And then we're going to also be using the log wheels here, which look the same, but are completely different. We're also going to be using the tools down here on the first and second uh, tabs here. We're going to also be looking at curves and really importantly, we're going to be looking at scopes. So I just click the scopes button just down here in the right hand corner. So I'm gonna try and blast through this really quickly. Like I say, I do, um, I'm sort of assuming you have some knowledge of Resolve. So this isn't by any means a step-by-step -step tutorial or anything like that. This is just really how I edit vlog or color grade, should I say, vlog footage. So the first thing I'm gonna start off with in this node, I'm just gonna create another node. In fact, I'm gonna create a few nodes. Um, and the reason for that is so that it saves me a bit of time. So all I'm doing is right clicking the node, going to add node and adding a serial node. You'll notice these serial nodes are list, uh, labeled one, two, and three, and we can also label these uh, as well. And this one I'm going to firstly start off with the, the kind of, this is the way that I um, grade. So the first thing I'm gonna do is looking at the waveform scope first, I'm going to try to get my um, shadows and highlights sorted and then I'm going to address my midtones and um, yeah that's what I'm going to start with so I'm going to start with this node and I'm going to call it um, let's use my primary wheels here to help out with this I'm going to call it lift slash uh, what an inconvenient time to auto save and gain and this one I'm going to be doing gamma. And this one is going to be my balance. So if my white balance is off, this is the node I'm going to be white balancing on. So starting off with lift and gain, straight away dive in here. And I'm going to drop the shadows in the lift. As you can see here, it's made it look very dark and underexposed. I'm going to boost the gain ever so slightly to about here. Now you'll notice the reason I'm going here is because there are some highlights here which probably relates to this part of the image right here. So if I keep increasing this, I'm gonna lose information where the sun is just off frame here. And you can see how that is represented on the scope there, which is why we're using our scopes. Scopes are also really handy if you're using a monitor like I am today, which isn't really calibrated as good as it could be. It's not a color grading monitor. It's just my home setup. So um, so yeah, I'm happy with lift and gain. Now gamma, so I'm happy with about there. I'm just gonna lift that slightly. 
and just get it to about there. So what we can see, if we click on the number, it's going to turn our layer off. So we can kind of see what that gamma has done. So that's with, without, with, without. It's going to keep that on and our lift and gain. Right, so now we're going to jump over to balance. I'm going to change my waveform to parade. And the parade is telling me that the RGB colors at the highlight end are pretty much okay. Um, however, in our low end, the blue is slightly dropped. So we could try to get that more equal and level, if you like, with, uh, with these two here. So to do that, I'm just going to jump over here to the blue channel on my curves. And I'm just going to drag that up slightly. Right, so what I'm going to do now is start dialing in some contrast and saturation. Let's get this scene popping. So in this node, I'm going to label this contrast. And we've got our contrast option down here. I could adjust contrast using the curves and, you know, do the typical S curve to bring out contrast, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use this tool here. And again, the reason for this is I just prefer the look it gives me. If you can see the difference between drawing the S curve, which kind of affects everything, in my opinion, it was quite flat. By adjusting the contrast down here, it sort of pulls things out, which give us sort of nice highlights over here and, yeah, deepens the shadows around here. So I'm a fan. I'm a fan of that. And I'm also going to now create another node, another serial, and this one I'm going to label saturation or sat. And I'm just going to increase that slightly. Too much, obviously, gives us a very unnatural looking image. But depending on the aesthetic you're going for, that might be something, might be something you want to do. But I'm going to just increase it by 11 and bring it up to 61. Cool, cool, cool. Now I could also deepen the shadows a little bit here, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna keep it as is. So already I'm quite happy with how this is looking. Okay, so that's that for my color correction and my primary color correction. Now we're gonna start adding a little bit more character to the scene that I want to create. Now I mentioned earlier I wanted to uh, do a little bit of a film look and there's a really quick and easy way of doing this so I'm just going to rename this film curve and what I like to do is just grab the bottom here and make a little incision there and just drag this down and it's all about now just playing with these two areas. So maybe there, something like that. So what this does is a filter, like it creates like a filter. Now, if this is too dramatic, which I'm feeling it's a little bit too, a little bit too great, there's too much of it. Uh, we can actually turn this down by going over here to this panel here, which is our key panel, and we've got our key outputs. And what we can do is turn this from uh, from 1 and turn it down to 0 0.5. And that's just going to give us half the intensity. So I'm not really a fan of that either, so I'm going to go down to 0 0.2. So this is nearly turned off. If we go to 0, that is basically turned off. So it doesn't do anything if we turn it on and off. So just find a, a medium you're happy with. Okay, so I'm going to create another node, another serial node. And this could also be done in layer nodes, uh, but I'm just going to stick to serials because this isn't a uh, this isn't a grade with any subject or anything like that. So this doesn't need to be as you can go quite intricate and detailed, and there are 
bonuses to using layer nodes versus serial nodes. Um, and usually if you've got a subject, your layer node, you can you can really sort of harness a lot more. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I forgot what I was gonna do. I'm gonna try and drop some of this um, in our highlights. So I'm gonna jump now over here to our window. And this is essentially a mask. And I'm just gonna drag and grab this circle mask and I'm just gonna stretch it out. And I'm just gonna kind of cover, kind of cover my sky. I'm gonna increase the softness as well because I don't want it to look obvious. But I do want it to bleed into this background a little bit. Yeah, okay. So now with this mask created, we're only gonna be affecting the center of this circle, but then obviously it's gonna feather out to the rest of our scene here. So what I'm gonna do is just grab the gain and I'm just gonna pull that down. I'm gonna grab the gamma and pull that in a little bit. And the lift. Pull that up a bit more. Can you decrease the contrast? Not too much though, because we want to keep this looking realistic as well. We don't want to, um, we don't want to create any issues. So I'm just gonna come off this window and just see how that's looking. So before and after, it gives us a lot more depth there. Yeah, I'm liking how this is looking so far. Okay, now what we're going on, I'm gonna create here, and I'm just gonna rename this mask. Maybe sky mask. Give it a general offset. So I'm just gonna pull the oranges up there. So what this is gonna affect is essentially all these colors. And if we turn this off for a second, so this is quite blue, it's quite well balanced. And all I'm doing is making it warmer. Now I could have gone over to tint temperature and adjusted it there as well. Um, but you'll notice the offset hasn't really adjusted the sky. It's really just done it to our main scene there. So I'm quite happy with this. And again, just turning it on and off so you can see the difference. And this is, this is really, this is really it. This is, this is the system, this, the way that I go through, um, the system that I go through, um, which has adapted over years. My, like I say, I learned color grading actually an Avid Media Composer and picked up Resolve a few years later. And I really kind of got behind how this, you know, how these workflows work. And I just find this a lot nicer. And um, so yeah, this is just, just this is just the way that I edit uh, vlog footage, and the 10-bit vlog footage out of the Panasonic S1 is incredible. It's really nice. Uh, it's really nice to work with. So um, so this is pretty much it for this demonstration of how I edit uh, vlog footage out of the Panasonic S1. Uh, vlog is certainly a time and a place kind of codec to be working with, um, but yeah, just so you kind of can see how you can really get owning in and manipulating um, the color information from this camera is quite staggering. So thanks for joining me this week. As usual, please like, subscribe if you've not already done so, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.